Life in San Francisco 2021 story time. What up, YouTube? It's your boy Jermaine back with another video. And the other day I was out cycling and I, you know, I made this really cool footage and I thought that I would uh, just make a voiceover and use this footage since I was like checking it out. I thought I'd make a video and uh, talk about life in San Francisco 21. Yeah, for the year 2021. So guys, let's just jump right into this one. So for the most part, I'm just gonna freestyle this video. We're just gonna talk about some things about the city, um, you know, this, that, life, etc. So first off, it is 21, it's 2021. I, sorry, I gotta get used to saying 2021. It's, it's a little tongue twister. But it, the year is uh, 21, it's February now. So what is the city like? So, you know, just last year, the city was preparing to preparing to be closed down right right around February. People were already taking off, leaving the city, that sort of thing. And now it's a year. It's and, and a lot has changed. A lot of businesses have just closed down. A lot of people have lost their jobs. A lot of people have moved away. So what about life in the city now? What about life in the city now? Because it has changed greatly. So just recently in the past like week, I've noticed that there's a lot more cars in the city. You know, there's definitely more and more people coming back to the city. And this is just, uh, it's just, this is just the, been the trend just because of the weather has been really nice. Of course, we have those rainy days and <laughs> less people come out. But it was always like that before the pandemic on rainy days. Something else I'm starting to notice in the city. I'm starting to see a lot more restaurants open up. Um, now, restaurants got the green light to open up, like, I think it was the 26th of January. But just because the city says, hey, guys, you can open, doesn't mean that a restaurant can just, you know, bam, we're open. It, it, it doesn't exactly work that way. No, it, it doesn't work that way at all. When, when restaurants get the green light that they can open, usually they maybe they have a couple days notice. Maybe they have a one day notice. And when they get that notice, well, they still have to do things like they, they, they have to prepare the restaurant. They got to, you know, get the food in place. Maybe they got to get, get get someone to, you know, to take the wood off the front of the restaurant so people can know it's open. Then you got to get some tables and chairs, put them outside. A lot of restaurants, they, they built these big huts, right, outside of the restaurant. And when we had the, you know, another wave of lockdown, you know, these the, the, the next closures where they're like, hey, you got to close your restaurant. Well, some places, you know, they moved all the, the, the tables back in and they, they kind of closed them down. They kind of like edit more wood to keep people from just going over there and hanging out when the restaurants, you know, closed and stuff like that. So now you got people that they got to, you know, fix all of that. They got to bring all the tables back out and open up the outdoor areas and I've noticed even some places are building more outdoor areas so yeah the, the city's coming back to life I mean it, it, it's, it's a slow process um it's, it's slow <sighs> life in the city I just want things to just fire back up soon because it's, it's very very depressing it's been very very depressing with all of these lockdowns just going to the mall and just seeing how the mall used to be. You, you go to the food court and you have all these different options of food to choose from. And for the most part, I, I'm vegan, so I would only go to like one place, two places, Chipotle, the, the loving hood. But it didn't matter about me. Just whenever I would go there, it was always like people there. It was always crowded. It was like the life of the party. Like it was always action going on there. Now you just walk through the mall and there is just no action in the mall really at all. Like it's just dead. It's dead. It's kind of sad because it was just a lot of life there. And I'm just using the mall as one example. I'm just, just, just using the mall as, as one example. There's a lot of places in the city that that are just like that. But uh, yeah, <laughs> it's been a crazy couple of weeks. So in this video footage here, this is a different neighborhood. Um, you guys may have noticed when this video first started off. I was at the top of Twin Peaks, and now we're just cycling down. Um, I believe, yeah, this is Market Street here. And 
this is a really really nice neighborhood by the way and in this neighborhood it doesn't even feel like the city and when i say the city when i say the terms the city i know locals may, may get pissed off when i say this but when i say the city what i'm really talking about is like it doesn't have the downtown feel like just looking at this footage right here it almost looks like this could be anywhere in california you know versus when I'm cycling in Soma, it's like, nah, this is probably not anywhere. This looks like a big downtown area. This looks like, um, you know, big buildings and stuff like that. But this here looks like it could be anywhere throughout through anywhere throughout California. It's just, you know, houses and, you know, what is this? Like a four-story building, three-story building here. And then on the left and off to the right here, we have, you know, what is that? A three or four-story building over here. Yeah, this was a stunning day when I was out, you know, cycling, filming this. But um, crime. Let's talk about crime. Let's 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 touch on crime a little bit. Crime has definitely picked up in this city. It has definitely picked up. Now, I've been hearing just a lot of crazy things that have been going on lately. Earlier today, I saw an article, and this article was about a family in Bernal Heights. They they got broken into twice in three months or something like that. I mean, could you imagine? Could you imagine? That's freaking insane. Twice in three months? Like, oh my gosh. Like, did, 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 I mean, I, I just don't know what to say about that. It, it just sounds like, it just sounds insane. Other things that have been going on in the city, just recently, uh, this was what, four or five days ago, a Tesla was driving and the camera on the Tesla captured a... Um, it was a Prius in front of the Tesla. The Prius was getting onto the freeway, getting ready to, you know, get on the freeway and leave the city. There was a car, looks like an Acre or a Honda or something like that, pulled up beside the Prius, and someone hopped out of the back seat. And the person that hopped out of the back seat smashed the back window of the Prius. You know how Priuses have those big, large back windows? Smash the back window, and you see the person pull a backpack out of the car and jump back into the the other car that they jumped out of and took off and the car took off and oh my gosh that's insane but you know what i'm pretty sure that this is not new i'm pretty sure something like this has happened before but this time we actually got to see it on camera we actually got to see it on camera those teslas are freaking cool cars i think teslas are going to really really change the way people you know steal things because i think in the future people are gonna catch on that like i don't want to break into this car because it's parked next to a tesla and that tesla might record me and it might record the license plate of the car that i'm getting away in and i might get caught you know so um i really really like this whole you know how, how i really really like the whole idea of tesla, how tesla have like these cameras on the outside of their car because you know that crime was was was, was caught on camera and this was horrible because this was um i actually found out a little bit more information about the couple this was an iranian couple and they had just left the, the dolores park area and they're photographing houses i believe um one of them was a real estate agent or something and they were leaving the city and they said that they noticed that someone was following them which is creepy you know and guys, this makes me wonder. I wonder how many people that this actually happens to. And I'm not talking about, you know, getting your car window smashed in traffic. I'm talking about, you know, someone out at the park putting something in their car, right? And someone else sitting in their car follows that person to see if they stop and park their car somewhere else in the city, right? And then goes up and robs them. Like, I just wonder, like, like how often does this sort of thing happen? Because, you know, the, the car break-ins are insane. Now, lately, the car break-ins in the city haven't been so bad because of, um, you know, that whole Fisherman's Wharf area. It hasn't been so bad because there's not a lot of tourists there. So now, they're just going anywhere they can. So now they're just breaking into houses and stuff and Bernal Heights and stuff. Like, it's, it's getting wild. Hold, hold, your, hold, 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 hold your horses, yo. <laughs> don't, don't let your horses run away because it's getting wild and crazy in the city. It's getting wild and crazy in the city. You definitely gotta, definitely gotta hang on. Definitely gotta hang on. 
what about um, you know can't make a video talking about San Francisco talking about the housing market um, you know for the most part I knew a lot of people are still waiting for prices to drop and they're still waiting for you know better deals but guys I, I don't know about this I think that the, the, the best deals were probably in November um, I was just looking on Craigslist um, I'll probably do another video um, pointing out you know some 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 rental prices and we can look at different units and see how, how much the prices have went up but I, I definitely believe the prices have went up quite a bit last time i was checking i definitely did not see the, the good deals i was seeing two or three months ago and there's also less apartments nowadays offering two months free rent and offering three months free rent because they don't necessarily have to anymore because they they, they probably filled up enough of the building now and they just don't have to offer that anymore because there's more and more people more and more people starting to come to the city like more and more people slowly starting to come to the city at the the place i'm living in there, there's more and more people starting to move in and um you know just kind of kind of checking out some of the people i, I really haven't talked to them too much but just kind of checking them out they look like students you know i mean a lot of them look like students so 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 basically what i'm trying to say here is it kind of looks like you know maybe that maybe, maybe people are moving back um you know maybe maybe people are slowly com coming back to the city because uh you know def definitely have definitely starting to see a little bit more action but the weather is getting better and when the weather gets better things usually change in the city when the weather's better so jermaine what about indoor dining now, I just heard earlier today that New York just gave the green light for indoor dining. Now, take a look at the date. The date is February the 12th, <laughs> and Valentine's Day is in two days. And it's February, and it's cold outside. So I, my guess is maybe we could possibly see, you know, something on Friday talking about outdoor, indoor dining, something like that in San Francisco, or maybe not. I would imagine they're probably going to do indoor dining very soon. I would imagine that they're probably going to slowly open back up things a little bit coming up in, the, you know, maybe in a couple of weeks, they're going to slowly open things more and more and more. And I, my guess is now we, maybe we won't go backwards so much just because we have the vaccination and we also are, you know, we're going to go, we're going to vaccinate everyone. Or I guess, I, I don't know how this is going to work. I guess we're going to vaccinate the people that want to be vaccinated. Because, of course, not every, not everyone's going to take the vaccination. But the people that take the vaccination, they're going to take the vaccination. And after they get the vaccination, the first shot, and then the second shot. And who knows? I don't know if it's going to be more shots after that. But after they get the shots, they're still going to have to, you know, we all still going to have to social distance. And we're all still going to have to wear two masks. Okay. So I really don't understand. I mean, I, I guess the va the vaccination is supposed to help slow the virus, but I'm still trying to, you know, figure it out. Like, you know, everybody's going to get vaccinated and then we still have to wear masks and we still have to social distance and we still have, you know, uh, you know, people sitting outside in the street eating dinner, you know, with a, a big gas lamp over them that probably costs, you know, $20 an hour to operate. I don't know. It, it, it It's just... It, it, I, I'm just still trying to figure this out. Eventually, we'll get over the virus, and I think we will get hurt immunity. But I'm, I'm still trying to figure this one out. Maybe you guys can put it in the comments about like how exactly does it work? Like, you know, do you just get the virus? I mean, do you just get the the vaccination, and then you know, you, you know, we still do the social distancing, and we still have the, you know, the outside seating. I'm just trying to figure out this because if we if we are already doing these things without the vaccination like why are we getting the vaccination and still doing these things um you know once again i'm not a health professional here i am someone who you know makes youtube videos and rides a, an electric bike in san francisco i'm not a health professional but I, I'm, I'm just still trying to figure this one out but i would imagine we're slowly gonna have more and more restaurants open and we'll probably have things like museums open and um, you know, once we have museums open, maybe we'll have like the, the op opera house open and maybe we'll have some baseball games and, and basketball games and stuff like that going on. But my only question is this. It's a really good question. 
Don't know the answer to this one. But when, when, when they do the open up things like arenas, you know, the, the Chase Stadium and the, the Warriors, um, the, the Chase Stadium, you know, the, you know, where the Warriors play. And also when they, um, you know, when they open up the, 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 the Giants Stadium, what's going to happen with the pricing of the tickets? Because, of course, you can't pack it out. So you're going to have to have, what, 10 capacity going to the, 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 the basketball games and the baseball games. You're going to have to have 10 capacity or something. You're going to have to, you're gonna have, to have a lot less people. So what's going to happen to the prices of the tickets? Are the prices of the tickets going to go up or are the prices of the tickets going to stay the same? Because if they stay the same and, you know, they, they have a tenth of the people coming to the games, like how, would that, like how are they even going to make money? Or are the prices of tickets going to go up? You know, instead of a ticket being a hundred dollars now, it's you know five hundred dollars just because only one fifth of the people can go, or one tenth of the people can go, or you know whatever it is, one fourth of the people can go. Like, will the prices like greatly go up? And I mean, what what will this be? Because I mean, if if prices are going to go up like that, I mean, could you imagine? I mean, could you imagine, like, it, it's really going to be a privilege to go to, like, a basketball game, you know, just, just because, like, it's going to be five times the price that it was two years ago. I don't know if, it, if, if this is going to happen, but, you know, it's just something to throw out there. And then also things like, um, you know, uh, movies, you know, AMC theaters, like, what will that be like? Will the price of movie tickets go up? Because they're going to have to, you know, have two people every you know every four seats are going to have to be empty in all direction so you're going to walk into the movie theater and you're going to see a big red x on the seat and that's where you can sit like is, is that how, how it's going to be um for things like performances and, and, and plays and stuff like that are those prices going to dramatically increase and then let's get on to you know the, the nightlife sector like the nightlife scene which is a really big part of the city oh my gosh this is a huge part of the city is the nightlife sector yo like it's not just things happening in the daytime that keeps the city going man that's all the amazing things that happen at night too you know like all the nightclubs and all the bars and all the restaurants what do people do at night they go out to eat they go out to drink they go out to, to go to shows when will shows come back? Now, I imagine that shows will slowly come back, but they're going to come back with this whole like social distance thing in, in, in mind. I've actually seen this played out in the city already where they sort of have like a, an entire street where they block off an entire street and they have like a stage on one side of the street. And, and they'll usually do this like at an intersection, right? They have a stage in the intersection. And then on one side of the street, they'll have, you know, uh, maybe groups of three people and they're sectioned out six feet apart or seven or eight feet apart up one street and then up another street. And that way you have people on both streets and they're all social distancing and spread out. But even when you do it on two streets like that, the amount of people that are actually at the show is just it's just a such a small amount of people versus when you actually have people standing up, you know, together, like, you know, raging, you know, now you're talking about having people every, like three people, every like six feet, like, oh my gosh, like the whole freaking street can be filled up and there's, you know, just a hundred people on the street versus if you, you know, if we did it like we did in before the coronavirus, it could be like thousands of people on that street, you know, without the six feet, the six feet rule. But I don't know. I, I think that all this will will magically fix itself once we, we you know, once everyone gets the vaccination. But wait, it's not all going to magically fix itself because once people get the vaccination, we still have to do the social distancing and we also still have to wear masks. And now they're telling us to wear two and three masks which is, I think is insane. Like, I'm sorry, but I'm not wearing three fucking masks. Like, I, maybe I'll just spend more time at home or maybe I'll just look to leave the city or just, you know, maybe go live in a tent, like in a forest or something. Because three masks is just, it's ridiculous. Like, two masks is, is too much. Like, I have a hard time breathing with one mask on. And I just imagine, you know, if you live in a hot place, like a hot climate, 
I mean, it's already it's already a heck to wear a one mask to wear two mask. I don't know. I don't know what's gonna happen, guys. I may want to just go move on some tropical island, Hawaii or something. I don't know. But um, anyway, back downtown. Yeah, back downtown cruising. Thought I would um, you know, make a random story time video of the city, talking about things that are going on, like you know. 2021 2021 I did say it correct so anyway guys I'm gonna wrap this video up if you guys want to see more videos like this from me let me know in the comments below hit that thumbs up button hit that subscribe button if you're new because it's just a random rumble about San Francisco